Right now I'm at the local Home Depot and this is what inspired my container garden platform build. Uh, you can see right here, they have these three cinder blocks high, but they have different ideas. Uh, if you have something like this, this would probably be the most ideal thing. It's some kind of iron paneling that they have. Now with this, I believe that's gonna last indefinitely, even longer than the concrete blocks would. So if you want a permanent long-term fix, then I believe that's going to be your best option. Now, if you get a little bit cheaper on it, you can see here they have, I would guess this is treated wood on theirs. And this is how they build it. This is three cinder blocks high. They have one layer, two layer, well, one row, two rows, three rows, four rows five five rows of cinder blocks going three high so that's that's going to be 15 blocks uh on each side and they put these are some long boards look like about some at least 24 feet boards they have uh and they just balance them out with every so often putting a stack of those 15 blocks and you can see how it looks now me what i did is i just used the wood that i already had and did the same thing which is why you see ours the way it's looking uh if you want to go this route it's going to cost you a little bit more i don't know how much these boards cost but you can get them in any size you see these are look like about 12 feet and this one looks like it's about i'm gonna say 20 24 feet long uh, so that, that's that's another way when you go out look at how these professional places i don't want to say professional but but look at how other people do things in their garden or a lot of these stores they got good ideas if you just keep your eyes open and you'll say man that's a that's a good idea now i don't know if they have these for sale but i see they have a few that they haven't used yet They're bringing them in right here. And they're going to lay these out. I don't know what kind of panels these are. But they're made to sit right on top of... They even have some smaller ones. Set right on top of your wood. Look like you can even screw something down on in the slats. Right, so, I mean, if you like this kind of stuff, if you like to have your, your things up off the ground, like, like one of the subscribers said, you know, away from those ants, away from that grass, then this will be a good build for anybody. So, stay up to date with us. We're going to do maybe about three of these the way we're doing it. And, I, and probably won't look this good, but we're going to get darn close. So, thank y'all for watching, Louisiana Gardening Family. And as always... Grow, grow, grow.